Today we'll show you how to resolve many Brandmeister MMDVM PiStar digital hotspot connection issues by configuring the PiStar settings so that you can spend less time troubleshooting and more time transmitting. The first step is to first plug in the Ethernet cable. And then the power cable. And now we wait several seconds for it to initialize. Once it finishes initializing, take note of the upper left-hand corner where it says the IP address. It'll say eth0, and then it'll have four numbers with dots, and that's the IP address. And just uh, go to your browser, which is connected to the same local network as the SkyBridge, and type that in. and that will bring up the dashboard page. The next step is to click on configuration and the username is pi-star and the password is raspberry. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click update. What this is gonna do is make sure you have the newest version of the dashboard that's running and everything and it'll also update the call sign database. So it's a, there's a file that translates DMR IDs to call signs, which makes it appear on your SkyBridge. And this will make sure that file is the most up-to-date. But it'll also make sure that the features of the PyStar dashboard are also up-to-date. And once this says finished, go ahead and click on configuration again. Before going through any troubleshooting, the first thing to check is just to make sure that the uh, configuration is right. So the call sign and DMR ID are your call sign DMR ID, of course. Um, your radio frequency, this needs to match the frequency that is the, of the code plug that's in your radio. Um, the latitude, longitude, town, country, and URL, um, those aren't gonna affect the operation of your hotspot. Those are just details about it. Um, the radio modem type, this needs to say SkyBridge, MMDVM, HS dual band for Pi. Um, that's the type of modem that's inside of the SkyBridge. Uh, for the node type, you can have it as private or public. For private, it's only going to allow your DMR ID and a comma-separated comma list of DMR IDs in that DMR access list field, where with public, any DMR ID can be used. So. If you want to share it with a bunch of people, public's the better option, otherwise private. Another thing is the uh, DMR master. That's going to affect the operation. You want to make sure that that's set to a server that ideally is closest to you. In the US, 3101 is actually being decommissioned. And so um, in its place, there's 3104 which is located in uh, Chicago. Um, 3102 is located in Dallas, Texas, and 3103 is located in San Jose, California. And generally the closest server to you is going to be the fastest connection. So in my case, I would choose 3102. And this hotspot security password needs to match exactly what your hotspot security password is in Brandmeister. And this isn't the account password, this is actually a separate field within the self-care. And you can actually reach that by going to your uh, Brandmeister account. Clicking on your call sign at the top and going to self-care. Then right here, hotspot security needs to be turned on. If not, click it, and that'll make a password field appear. And you just type in whatever password that you need to create if you haven't done this. If you have done this already, then the field that's in this hotspot security uh, field, this needs to match that exactly. And special characters do work, but in general, we have had better luck with more simple passwords. So if, if you find that everything matches, but it's still not working, it might be worth trying a simpler password to see if that works. But assuming that all these settings are set, just click any of the apply changes buttons if you did change anything. And if not, and everything does look good, then we're ready to move on to the next troubleshooting step. 
So if you go to dashboard, this actually ties into um, the Brandmeister password hotspot and all that hotspot password. If this box right here is green, then that means that it's authenticating properly and you're connected to the Brandmeister server. Now, if not, if this, if um, let's say you uh, didn't have a password match, so if I put the wrong password in, and this would also happen if you didn't have a hotspot password set up too in your Brandmeister account. But once this refreshes, now when we go to dashboard, notice how that's yellow now. That means that it's not authenticating correctly with Brandmeister. So the hotspot's still gonna hear your radio, but it's not gonna go through to the other side. So once you've got this correct, it'll be green again. Another commonly encountered issue is being stuck in a talk group. So let's say I key into Worldwide here. And now this is gonna connect the SkyBridge to the Worldwide talk group, which is a very busy one. Now, even if I change channels, see that green light flashing? That means that it's still receiving traffic on this frequency. And because this is a simplex device, you won't be able to get a word in if there's a talk group that's busy transmitting to your radio. So the solution for this is to turn it to TG Disconnect, which is talk group 4000, and wait for a break in traffic. Once that green light stops flashing, You can also check on your dashboard. It'll show when the transmission's over. Once there's a break, key up. Not linked. And if successful, you'll hear a voice confirmation just like that, and now you're disconnected. <clears throat> Each time you connect to a talk group though, um, to talk to a different talk group, um, disconnect first, and then that'll free it up for whatever talk group you'd like to actually listen to. And to confirm that this worked properly, you can always test it with Parrot. This is Alpha Echo Zero Lima India testing. This is Alpha Echo Zero Lima India testing. And it was, it was successful. While there might be several reasons why your MMDVM PiStar hotspot isn't working, there are just as many easy to follow solutions. If you want to know more about the Skybridge Plus, click the link below. Thanks for watching. I'm Lucas, Alpha Echo Zero Lima India with Bridgecom Systems, 7-3.